to you by Budweiser. Names and speakers is Klipsch. Not the most melodious name, but this is a speaker that is made in hope. And we found the spirit of Arkansas success in Mr. Klipsch himself. In some ways, Paul Klipsch reminds you of the professor you had in college. So brilliant that you were always hopelessly lost. Well, that's an early crossover network which tells the low frequencies below 400 hertz to go to the woofer and the frequencies above 400 hertz to go to the tweeter. Do you think people appreciate all the sophisticated principles that go into these? Probably not, but they appreciate the lack, lack of distortion or the absence of distortion that results from using a horn. When he was a young engineering student in the 1920s, he worked out the idea for the first corner horn speaker. He was the first to publicize the idea that speakers just sound better when they sit in a corner. And what's more, every clip speaker has a horn design inside. It cuts down on the distortion so much that many people say clip speakers are the best. They're wonderful. They sound great. They last a virtually a lifetime. They're built very well. They have extremely good resale or trade-in value. They're just a very well-made, very respectable, high-quality product. Let's see if I can find a place where to cut short on the um, introduction. <laughs> At the Lone Star Cafe in New York City, clip speakers keep the music coming. Around the world, from country bars to the finest concert halls, clip speakers are often the preferred speakers. Well, I like to I tell you, I like the Dodger Kraut uh, Oompa Band at the, at the Oktoberfest. But it's rock musicians who buy most of your speakers. Oh, yeah, but uh, thank God the things will play something else. try our best. If they don't pass our standards, we don't ship them out. Every week, thousands of speakers are made mostly by hand at the factory in Hope. And like a proud father, Klipsch wanders through it, where high-tech techniques carry out the simple idea he set in motion all those years ago. In fact, he says that 90% of what he's tried to do has failed, but he's always kept looking for that 10% of success. A hundred years from now, looking back, I don't know what the people would think about it. I might, be, I might go down in history if there is any uh, as a crackpot. Does that bother you? Nope, it doesn't. Some honest answers from Paul Klipsch, and I'd like you to hear more of that interview tonight on our News at 10. Too bad we had to hear that through a little TV speaker. See, that's right. Miss Klipsch speakers. The speakers are known around the world for their quality. But Paul Klipsch himself is known in Hope, Arkansas, for his gentle spirit. It's the spirit of success. This is the weekly meeting of the Hope, Arkansas Rotary. And if you were to look closely at the mural behind the head table, you would see a picture of a young man 60 years ago who on this day received the highest Rotary honor. Now, some people invent out of the blue and uh, create something in a flash of lightning or something or other. It was decades ago that Paul Klipsch made a name for himself by perfecting the audio concept that makes Klipsch speakers among the best in the world. Oh, there's a company on the cutting edge in England and a couple of other companies in this country that turn out a lot of speakers, too. But competition? Well, to be grammatic grammatical about it, I'd like to say there ain't none. In fairness, he's right. There ain't nothing quite like a Klipsch speaker. Without an engineering degree to explain it, here's the basic idea. Inside a traditional looking speaker, the audio drivers, the things that project the sound, are attached to horns. And it's the horns that reduce the distortion to make Klipsch speakers sound so good. There is no product that uh, I have ever represented that is at the same time more beneficial to both the customer and the retailer as a Klipsch product. Over the years, Klipsch has tinkered with the speakers, but the basic idea has remained the same. He himself might say, why fix it if it ain't broke? For his ideas, he's been given medals in engineering. But for his company's employment in Arkansas and his loyalty to Hope, he also received the highest medal from the Rotary Club. Congratulations. Thank you all. The one sad irony is that he has lost some of what he's depended on all his life, 
his hearing. But, you know, with typical Paul Klipsch spirit, he says simply, hey, I'm 85 years old, and that's just part of life. Coming up next in sports, the Hogs...